Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Happy Saturday or whatever day of the week it is you are listening to this. I'm going to remember that entry one of these days. Today's little ditty is If Susan's Pussycat Could Talk. If Susan's pussy could talk, it would say that it wished it wasn't hairless and it longed for some fur that people could caress. It would tell you how it has racked up a very high body count, an almost unimaginable amount. Her pussy would describe days when it was dripping wet, and how it would never forget the big black wiener. <laughs> that frightened it almost to death. It would recall sitting on the washing machine until the clothes were fully clean, and of how being in an awful state when it acquired a smell which was difficult to eliminate. It would recount with a scowl becoming a night owl on the prowl, almost driven to distraction, looking for some action. With soul-crushing nights spent on the city streets, when it would get no meat, just trying to find the scraps that other pussies would leave behind. It would speak of glory days when it went through a phase of getting the best sausage. Most nights it went out, and a recent dry spell that would be better described as a drought. It would relate a time when James had the audacity to stretch Susan's pussy to maximum capacity, plus how it got infected and reluctantly rejected several invitations to enticing locations, as well as how it learned to enjoy getting poked with a plastic toy. It would divulge information about how, for the duration of its one-week vacation, it, at best, got a few hours rest and shook violently for most of each night spent under Parisian lights. It would depict getting hit with a huge cream pie by that socially awkward guy. Susan's pussy would boast about the delightful spit roast by the West Coast, which was the occasion that it enjoyed the most. If Susan's pussy could talk, it would ask her to wash it more, <laughs> to give it a rest when it's sore, and to please not roar when her pussy is <laughs> overstimulated, adding that it seems that Susan's screams are often exaggerated. It would bemoan Susan's tendency to play with her pussy alone, but it would thank her for considering its needs as well as her own. The End don't forget to like and subscribe and press the wee bell notification. And a huge big thank you to all my subscribers, patrons and members. See you next week. Bye bye.